Welcome. Today we will be disassembling an MSI GE72VR Apache Pro Gaming slash VR laptop. So we're going to be using a 2.5 uh, Phillips head screwdriver. And we're of course going to have to remove the bottom cover first. So I'm just going to go around the uh, bottom of the laptop and remove all the screws. Alright, once you've removed all the screws, we can go ahead and find the space where the bottom case connects to the palm rest, and then we'll get a flat edge in there and just separate those two. And then before you pull up on the uh, bottom cover, just make note that there's a couple audio ports down here that can kind of get pulled up with the case. So you want to lift from the optical disk drive side and then remove the bottom cover. All right, first we'll go ahead and remove the battery. Just take out the one remaining screw and lift it out. Go for the Wi Fi card, we'll just pull those antennas up. And just remove the screw. And for the hard drive caddy, it's just the one remaining screw. slide it that way to free it from the SATA connector and if you just uh, if you're switching off the hard drive there's two screws holding on the caddy all right for the memory we'll just spread the bars pull it out same for the SSD drive just remove the screw Pull it laterally out of the connector. This one is kind of taped in there. There we go. All right, now we can uh, remove the fan and heatsink assemblies. So, with this type of connector, you just get your fingernails underneath the little lips on the connector and pull straight up. Looks like there's just those four screws for the two fans, and then go ahead and loosen up the heatsink screws. The order taking off is not important. You can 
take off in any uh, order you want. Just if you're reinstalling it back on the board, you want to pay attention to the numbers on each of these and tighten them in that order. Interesting. minute check and make sure that we got all of the screws out looks like we did so I'll just work it free from the motherboard can be a little bit sticky sometimes for the thermal paste but just giving a little wiggle you should be able to remove it it looks like this one's got a little bit of uh, the ribbon going through the fan, so we'll go ahead and release that. Those little screws didn't really want to come out and those are the only things that were holding it in. Okay, so we got that out. And then the optical drive, it looks like we can just slide that out laterally. Screw, one of the screws that was holding the bottom case was also holding in the optical drive. And we'll go ahead and remove the little optical drive board. All right, we're gonna go ahead and temporarily remove this little speaker so we can get to the ribbon for the in and out board. All right, so now it looks like we can go ahead and just start removing any ribbons that are connected to the motherboard, and then we can remove the motherboard from the chassis. Be the pram battery. I 
gonna leave that one for now. DC Jack. Ribbons free. Okay. Looks like just a couple more screws holding on the motherboard. motherboard has a lot of ribbons that are connected on the bottom as well so just carefully flip it over and move the little plastic uh, gate down and then you can pull that ribbon out same with the other one there's just two brown tabs just pull those out and you can move that ribbon out and that was the pram battery so leave that one in and this is how you remove the motherboard. All right, so now we're gonna put the speakers back in their proper place. Also, it looks like the keyboard in this model is riveted in. It's not replaceable. The trackpad is um, definitely just glued on. All right, now we can uh, free those hinges and separate the two halves and also retrieve the DC jack. So I'll open up the laptop and then make sure the cables are free. You want to keep one hand underneath to support the two halves. And then just remove the final four screws holding on the hinges. Looks like the left side screw is unable to come out. It means there's usually a, a broken piece of plastic or something behind there. Otherwise, once you get that last screw out, you should be able to just separate the display from the palm rest assembly. All right, so I checked and yeah, this is definitely the uh, connectors pulled out of the plastic. So we're just gonna have to kind of finagle it out. Um, this little black clutch cover um, just likes to hold onto the display, but if you separate them, it should just move aside and then snap back. So you'll have to kind of squeeze out each hinge from the from between the clutch cover and the rest of the plastic here they're kind of bonded together and there's no way to remove it to free the display. So that is the palm rest assembly and now that we have that hinge removed you can see where the little uh, screw catch pulled out of the palm rest. So that can be repaired with a little bit of epoxy. If you see that you can just get a little bit of plastic epoxy and then put the little connector in there. 
All right, so now we can go ahead and disassemble the display. So this, like many other laptops, you just get the seam behind the bezel, between the bezel and the back cover, and then separate the two. Definitely helps to have a flat edge tool. It looks like this display is also you know, has the bezel held on by a little bit of tape too. So it kind of makes it a little extra fun to remove it. strip there in between the bezel and the screen so just keep working at it going around and you will soon free the bezel from the back cover and screen There is that nice adhesive strip going along the perimeter of the screen. And then you have all the little catches on the outside of the back cover. So as long as you go slow and just kind of work it and massage it, it will come off. All right, now we can uh, remove the actual LCD from the uh, display assembly. So we'll go ahead and remove, looks like, four screws. And we're just gonna kinda try to work it free. Alright, now we can go ahead and remove the LCD and hinges from the back cover. Uh, so we're going to remove the six screws from each side and remove the hinges and LCD as a pair. So we'll remove those hinges and then we'll go ahead and flip the display up and remove the LCD cable. No, 
don't make this part very easy. So you want to pull back on the little little tab that's coming off of the video cable, but you want to make sure it doesn't pull all the plastic back. And then once you have that pulled back, you're going to have to unstick some more plastic on the bottom of the video cable and then try not to try to do it gently so you don't kind of yank up all of a sudden and then you can pull that free of the display without harming the connector. And then there's just the four screws on each side to remove the rails. All right, so lastly, we will go ahead and remove the video cable. And we'll go ahead and pull that up. And then for the little connector, you can just get your fingernail in there and just pick it out. And with webcams, it's always best not to grab from either side. Get it from the bottom and then just kind of peel up. Some of these can be held on by some pretty strong tape and it's real easy to just bend that webcam in half. They're pretty flimsy. So that is how you disassemble an MSI GE72 VR gaming laptop, also known as the Apache Pro. So if this video helped you or you liked it, please like and subscribe. Thank you.